Welcome back to Altitude University. Hunter here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to edit a video directly from your phone. That's all you need. You're gonna be able to post the video right to social media from your phone, so let's jump right into the video. So first off, you're gonna need the app CapCut. This is a free app that you can download on the App Store or Google Play. And once you have it downloaded, open it up and first you're gonna hit new project right here and you're gonna import the footage that you want to edit. So I have five drone clips that I have from our last video. If you haven't seen my drone flight from the last video, make sure to check it out. Basically pop the drone up right from my hand, right out of the balcony and go film some surfers in a really, really cool surfing bay. So right here, I'm gonna select the five clips. So just select in the top right, see those circles, select those. And before you press add, what you wanna do is actually select them and go in and trim them. So find the best section of each clip so that you don't have this crazy long timeline. So I'm just gonna drag these two yellow sides right there and I'm gonna select those. So I trim that first clip, the second one, same thing, press trim right there. And I'm gonna go in and find the section that I want. So I'm just scrubbing through, finding what I like best. Third one, press trim in that bottom left. Same thing, there's a surfer right there, so that's a great shot to have in there. And here we go, next shot. Rinse and repeat, just scrubbing through, finding the best section of each clip. And last but not least, our fifth clip, same thing. And a nice pan up shot right there, love it. So now we have those five clips selected and trimmed and go to the bottom right and press add right there. So now you see we have in order, our five clips imported right here. There we go, first clip, second clip, third, fourth, and fifth. So what we wanna do first is actually arrange the clips in order of how we want them to play. So I'm going to switch these around here. So I'm gonna start with this one actually. So I'm gonna hold it down and drag it to the beginning. So it's gonna start with that clip and that's right there, the second one, the third one. So I'm gonna switch this third one to the second one. So we can see it'll go from that right there, down to there, to that top down, right there, to the surfer, and then to that shot. Great, so we just arranged our five clips, and now we're gonna find audio, and then we're gonna match the cuts to the beat. So the audio is the most important piece because that's gonna dictate how we're editing our video. So I'm gonna go to add audio right here, go to sounds, and I'm gonna find a song that I like. So I like this song, it's kind of a cinematic slow song which really fits that beachy vibe that I was going for. And now that we have our song imported, if you drag with two fingers here, you can make this smaller so you can really see. You can see the song is a lot longer than our clips. So we're gonna go in and just find the section that we like of the song. Somewhere around here where the drop happens. Maybe right there. So I'm gonna press it and then I'm gonna go to split right there and then go to that first half and press delete. Now we just have that song starting right where we like it. And if we drag out again, we can hold this down and find the out point that we want. So I want this video literally to just be like 10 to 12 seconds, super quick. So I'm gonna go in and find how to make that line up. Right there, I want it to end, right at 12 seconds. So split, delete, and that's where our video is gonna end. So I'm gonna go in and make sure it's nice and precise there. So I'm just gonna drag that to the end, just like that. And now we have our audio laid in, 12 seconds, and we can really play with this video however we want now. So I'm just gonna shorten these clips to the beat and then we'll color grade it and our video is pretty much done. So let's see. So right there on that beat, we're gonna put our next clip in. So what you wanna do is just click on that first one, hit split and delete, and you'll see that drags right to that part now. And if you miss the beat, no worries at all. You can just drag out your clip a little longer to make sure it hits on it. So you can get nice and precise right there. Maybe even more, maybe it's even right there. Let's see how that plays now. And then right there on that beat, we're gonna go to our next clip. So press that, split, delete, and that drags that one right there. 
And then right there is our next one. So split, delete. You can see you're just rinse and repeat. Just find the beats of the song, press on your clip, split it, and then delete the part that you don't want. And it's gonna drag that next clip right to the end there. And it looks like we actually have time for one more clip. So I'm just gonna extend that out even more. Right there. Perfect, split, delete, and we are now on our last clip. Let's see. Right there. And we can end our video right there. So we're gonna do split, delete, and then we're gonna do the same thing on the audio here. So split and delete. And we just successfully made our video right there. So our video is about 15 seconds. And what we wanna do now is since this is gonna be for social media, we wanna actually format it so that it fits the entire phone screen because right now it's horizontal, which isn't gonna work. So what we're gonna do is go down here and just go to format and watch this. You're gonna go to nine by 16 and then you're gonna go into all of your clips just like this and just drag them, make them fit the frame size, nice and simple. Just like that. Same thing, just drag it to resize it and make sure it fits the whole frame. Right there, and we have a subject right there. You wanna make sure that stays centered, just like that. And last but not least, right there. So now if we go through, we resize our video. Let's watch this. Perfect. Amazing. So we resized it. Now all we need to do is color our video. So basically what we're gonna do is make these colors pop a little more by adding a filter to it. So right here, you're just gonna go to filters. And my favorite is actually under life. It is autumn. It really makes these colors pop. Look at that. It really, really does a great job. So that's without it, that's with it. Without it, with it. So you can see those greens really, really pop. And now it's under this layer. It's this little purple layer, so we're gonna drag that end piece and just make sure it fits right to the end there. So now it's over all of our clips, just like that. That looks great. And now all we need to do is go into our individual clips and just make some micro adjustments. So we added that base color that makes all the colors the same. Now what we need to do is go into individual clips and just make sure the shadows and the highlights are balanced so nothing is overexposed. So what we're gonna do here is go into adjust and we can adjust everything. We can do brightness, we can make it a little darker if we want it to be moodier. You could do the contrast even, saturation. You can do exposure if you want. You can do sharpen, HSL, hue, saturation, and luminance. So this is gonna be hue, saturation, and luminance of each individual color. So you'll see that's red, orange, yellow, green, uh, kind of like aqua, blue, uh, violet, purple, and pink. The highlights, you can bring those up or down. The shadows, color temperature, hue, same thing, vignette, grain, all that. So there's a lot of fun options in there. And once you do that, we did that to that one clip. That kind of took a while, right? So watch this. Press apply to all, boom. That put those effects on every single clip. So we don't have to do that every single time, which is really, really nice. So we could go in now and see these clips and we basically just colored everything. And that one, this clip clearly needs more adjustment. So I'm gonna go into adjust and I'm gonna start with brightness and I'm gonna bring the brightness down on this one. Definitely the saturation. I'm gonna bring it down a bit. Hue, saturation, luminance. So I wanna see if I can actually get this water to look a little bit bluer here as opposed to uh, that brown murky color, which doesn't look too good. So that helps a bit. Great, let's see the last clip, right. Right there, amazing. Let's go to this clip, same thing. I'm just gonna darken it a bit, I think. Um, saturation, we can bring that up or down. So you get the point, basically once you have that color layer on all of the clips, go in and make those micro adjustments. It's really, really gonna make a huge impact on your footage. So one last thing we can do here is we can add text. It's gonna add a great dynamic to your video. So all we're gonna do is go right here to text, add text on this first clip and type in anything you want. So I'm just gonna type out a few things here to build out a bit of a story uh, as the clips are playing. 
And what you can do here actually is you can change the font style uh, to whatever you want. So there's really, really cool options. And then just make sure it's centered. So if you drag it, it'll actually center right there for you. So right here, you'll see the text layer. It plays over the whole clip. So watch this now. And then we can copy and paste it. So press copy and drag it over just so you don't have to redo that every time. And the font will stay exactly the same then. Drag it to fit the length, center it. And you get the point, you can basically go through and add text to all of your clips. Just make sure the lengths uh, fit perfectly by one clip to the next. Go through and do that, add whatever text you want. I would really, really recommend doing this to all of your social media videos. It's really helpful. Uh, it helps guide the viewer and keep them enticed in the video as they're watching it. So it's not just, you know, gorgeous music and really cool shots. There's actually, you know, a bit of a storyline to it that they can follow by reading the text. So once you go through and do that, all you need to do is go up here and change your resolution to 4K. So it's the highest quality export and go to frame rate and put it down to 24, just like that. And then all you're gonna do is press the download button and it's gonna export out your video and let it do its thing and your video will be done. So I hope you learned a thing or two in this video. This is my full CapCut editing walkthrough guide on how to edit a video directly from your phone. You can see we have it exporting out right now and I can post it right to any social media platform I want directly from my phone. You don't need anything else. You don't need a laptop, you don't need a desktop. All you need is your phone to edit amazing quality videos. We'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna learn more about unlocking your drone's full potential and becoming a confident drone pilot, then be sure to check out our course, 14 Day Drone Pilot Pro. It's a speed learning program for beginners, teaching aerial photography and video editing, and our students are absolutely loving it. I'll link it in the description below. Make sure to click that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video.